Hello friends and family and welcome to the Crippling Anxiety Fireside Meditation Chat. Today I wanted to talk about the science of free won't. This is a term coined by V.S. Ramachandran and it comes up in a book by uh, Robert Sapolsky. Um, it may be difficult to see. <laughs> The book is entitled Behave, and um, the subtitle is The Biology of Humans at Our Best and Worst. And the book is quite long, but it goes on to uh, discuss exactly where does human behavior come from. And in referencing V.S. Ramachandran, um, Sapolsky has uh, mention as many neuroscientists and psychologists and uh, other people in the related fields have discussed in recent years. Um, he mentions, he draws on this study or a series of studies which have been done, which have essentially disproven the idea of free will. So the idea of free will is a bit too absolutist for anyone to really believe. Um, in a complete sense, but uh, essentially the studies that have been done have requested um, the subjects of the experiment to move their finger or move their toe, place it in a certain way, and identify the earliest point at which they are cognizant of the fact that they are going to do this. And what has been discovered is that the brain uh, under fMRI scanners uh, emits a signal which tells the researchers long before the subject of research um, that this behavior is going to occur. And um, what this essentially shows is that the human consciousness, the, our decision-making process is emergent. And we sort of know this. We sort of know, oh, okay, our body is made up of tissues and organs and cells and those cells operate according to um, certain uh, machinery. But the idea that it is now externally observable, our emergent behavior, our emergent thoughts can be known to an external observer prior to our own awareness is quite a new idea and somewhat frightening idea that we can be observed and people will know in advance how we will think, how, will we, be, how we will behave. And V.S. Ramachandran's um, uh, hypothesis or concept is this idea of free won't. So his quip is there is no such thing as free will, but there is such a thing as free won't. And what he means by that is that it is observable under certain circumstances um, for the subject uh, uh, under observation to emit this signal but not act. And so what that means is that it is possible for an individual to actually reject emergent behavior. And in effect, this is what we are doing in meditation. We are, not, uh, we are not suppressing it. We are not forcing it to go away, or at least we're trying not to do that. Um, but we are constantly caught up in emergent behavior. And that emergent behavior is only thought, well, thought and emotion, but it, it is internal. So we are experiencing an emergent thought uh, and an emergent emotion which coincide with one another. So I'm thinking about work and I'm feeling some anxiety. I'm thinking about people's health and I'm feeling some sadness, some trepidation, um, some concern. And these thoughts and emotions um, are, they are artificial. So they are a, our imagination and they are our memory 
both of which are not actually occurring right now. So it is not an experience that we are having to, um, to know that someone is in poor health, to know that our work is uh, not going well. Um, we can only really have a memory or an anticipatory thought of uh, either of those things. And so when we bring our attention back to the breath repeatedly, what we're doing is free won't. This is essentially denying the default, uh, arguably it's the default mode network, but um, the default operation of the mind to say, no, I'm not just going to roll with whatever my default capacity wants to do. I am going to do this specific thing, which I instruct. Um, and it is, again, uh, hypothesized that people who have very high skill level um, in this ability of free won't may actually perhaps have a free will. So you and I do not. We are simply speaking and acting and behaving based on emergent phenomenon within our body. Um, there is no individual controlling, like manning the, the machinery. Um, there's no little homunculus in the back of our mind saying, okay, you do this and you do this. Um, unfortunately, all of our thoughts all of our speech, all of our behavior is simply um, emergent biological phenomena. But theoretically, it is possible that if a person were to repeatedly practice free won't, to deny those automatic processes over and over and over again, such that the conscious um, mind the active consciousness were in complete control that that person may have what we would presumably identify as free will. Is this a valuable thought exercise? Debatable. But uh, it's interesting to think about in terms of what is dictating our behaviors, what is dictating our thoughts, our thought patterns, our habit patterns, throughout any given day. We've fallen into some set of habits. Some of them were established when we were children. Some of them we've grown as adults. Um, but a, a large number of those habits, um, even if they are habits we've instilled in ourselves, we are not in control of. They're simply the automatic machinery that keeps churning away and keeps moving us from one day to the next. And so, Meditation is something else. It is not the automatic machinery. It is uh, our opportunity to engage free won't and say, I am only going to do this one thing. And whenever the automatic machinery kicks in, I'll bring it back. I'll turn it off, even if momentarily. Then the automatic machinery tries to spin itself up again and I turn it off. Um, and I keep coming back to this uh, idea of turning the automatic off um, and engaging free won't. <laughs> um, and for most of us, that may have to suffice in the absence, in lieu of free will um, for most of our lives, I think. That is all for today. I hope you are taking good care of yourselves and good care of each other. Uh, free will or not, form some good habits, eat some vegetables, get a bit of exercise. Um, take care of yourselves every day while we ride this thing out. I will talk to you tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Goodbye.